Hello, in this video, I'm going to be telling you my, about my experience at Sky Landscape Artist of the Year, the second time that I was a wild card. It was at High Wycombe, and the first time in a previous video, which I think you can find here, the first time was um, a real baptism of fire. I was really in at the deep end. Uh, this time I was slightly better prepared. Stick around to the end because I'm going to share with you how long it took me to paint my recent entry into Sky Landscape Artist and I will keep you updated as to whether or not I've been successful in whatever, as it was one of the gods in the pods or a wild card. The wild cards is so much fun. I'm going to tell you all about that in a moment. The first time I did the wild card with Sky Landscape Artist of the Year, I well, it was at Hertz Monsieur and I ended up painting a really big uh, stately home and it wasn't really something that I was very proud of. This second time I got a little bit more practice, landscapes had a little bit more of an idea and an understanding. It was at High Wycombe, I believe Winston Churchill used to live there. A beautiful stately home, marvellous and it was a really sunny day absolutely gorgeous i there, there was also a lovely water feature and all these kind of things and a sort of victorian folly and everything i decided in my infinite wisdom to paint a tree this genuinely was the thing that interested me that caught my eye so this is the tree that i painted and um i thought it was just, it was beautiful, it really was, and for me it was the thing that really stood out in the landscape. It was an unusual choice, I agree. If you're thinking odd, yes, probably. I, I had um, no preconceived ideas when I got there, I wasn't deci hadn't decided what I was going to paint. I had googled it and had a little bit of a research about the area had no idea really what I was going to paint and when I saw this tree I was like yeah that's for me genuinely genius tree someone had left a bag underneath and I thought that kind of created a lovely little narrative point as to you know what what was that bag who had left it were they coming back kind of thing I really loved the um, the kind of softening the the, la the depth in the landscape and obviously for me this was all about the detail in the tree I got to speak to all three of the judges and um, and Stephen Mangum, the, one of the hosts, which was marvellous, got interviewed by one of the researchers. I'm only featured in the programme very, very briefly. Uh, you can see me there, but it's not. It's just snippets and things like that. I'm quite happy. I'm quite proud of what I think. This is a four hour painting and I think it definitely marks and improves my previous experience at Sky Landscape Artist of the Year. Uh, this one is for me my, my better painting. I find this interesting. I'm never going to sell this. I got to I got to speak with all of the um, judges, and they're all as absolutely wonderful and really lovely um, as you can imagine. Catherine Soriano was just really, really kind, really, really nice. Kate Bryan again was absolutely wonderful, and for me, I, I, I'm I'm a huge, huge fan of Taishan Schoenberg and he is absolutely just exactly like you like he is on the tv he just loves art and he just he's just magic and you know and he, we just had a lovely conversation about the different kind of things that were going on in the painting he uh, he mentioned something about constable's portrait of a tree and i vaguely remembered it but i couldn't like my brain just went Hur! like that at the, on the time so I, he asked me if i knew it and i said no um, I, I did kind of know it, but then, you know, like he looked at me like, oh, how could you? But um, yeah, so that's just, it is what it is. Uh, I just, my, my mind blanked when I get to speak to people like that. Sometimes you just, you know what it's like, you go, Ooh. but um, it was an absolutely wonderful experience. The people there, the other artists, the wildcard artists are just magic. They're absolutely amazing. You cannot ask for a friendlier, more supportive bunch. The film, the, the, camera crew and everyone 
are just a laugh. They're really good, really kind, and really fun. My advice to you, number one, is if you are a landscape artist, I'm not. I don't consider myself a landscape artist, but I just, it's just magic. But when you went to try it, to try it, so I did it like the first time. Huge outside my comfort zone. Second time, slightly more in my comfort zone. I felt like I was a better painter the second time. Um, but if you are thinking of doing it, then do it. Nothing is going to go wrong. Nothing bad will happen. It is just absolutely marvellous. So this is my entry into the Sky Landscape Artist of the Year 2022. Um, this, I just found it really interesting. I took a photo as the sun was setting at Hawthorne Common in Bristol. And it was, I, it was really interesting the way that the shapes, the, the silhouette of the trees against the sort of setting sun. And I took a photo and I banked it and thought, well, I'll paint that again. Well, I'll, I'll paint that sometime in the future. My phone is full of different things to paint. And I was having a little problem with a um, portrait, self-portrait that I was working on. So I decided to just kind of do this as a sorbet to cleanse the palette, artistic palette. And I gave myself an hour. I like to time myself because if I don't time myself, then I end up just getting consumed and that's it, I've lost a day. And people are phoning me up going, you know you're meant to be here. I timed myself and I got to this stage and I thought, I'm done. I don't want to, I don't, I literally didn't want to do anymore. I, I felt that I'd done what I wanted to do and I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish bit of the clock and it was 30 minutes so this little painting here my submission into Sky Landscape Artist of the Year 2022 took me 30 minutes and I'm quite happy with that I'm quite proud of it it's definitely something that is quite striking in my view um, let me know what you think in the comments that would be lovely if you've enjoyed this video why not subscribe and um, have a wonderful day and whatever you do today make some art